Welcome back to the shop. I'm Kirk Anderson. Now last week I showed how I'm going to sharpen my chisels in order to make some dovetail joints. But now what am I going to use to strike the chisels with? I need a mallet. Of course a wooden mallet is the best thing for striking chisels. Now there are many ways that you can make a wooden mallet. I mean you can just take a block of wood and bore a hole in it for the handle. Or you can do what I'm going to do, which is take a few pieces of wood and glue them together in a fashion that creates the hole so you don't have to bore it out. Now I do believe that this is by far the easiest way to make a mallet. Now I'll be making this mallet out of some walnut that I've already have. Now without any further ado, let's get into this build. But before we do, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Since the board was too wide for my 6 inch jointer, I put it on my planer sled and planed one side flat. Now once one side was flat, I took it off the sled and just ran it through the planer to get the other side flat and parallel. Now I planed it down to one and a half inches. And then I took it over to the table saw and I cut three inch strips. That's how wide I'm going to have the mallet. And then once the strip was cut, I cut it down into five inch sections. Now one of the sections that's going to be in the center of the mallet, I want a little bit smaller, just under one inch. So I ran it through the table saw blade on its side. And then I flipped it over and ran it again to make the cut. And now for the handle of the mallet, I'm cutting about a three quarter inch strip. Now it's time to start assembling it and I'm just going to be gluing this with a little help from some brad nails. You definitely want to make sure you use plenty of glue. And here I'm using the brad nails just as so it doesn't move around much. And then using the handle as a spacer, I glue in the other side. Now using plenty of glue, I glue on the other side. And then I clamp it together, making sure that it's nice and snug. Now once the glue was dried, I took it over to the belt sander to sand all the faces flat. Now I'm just going to put a chamfer edge on all the sides of the face. And to do this, I'm just using my palm router. And I apologize for having my hand in the way of what you can see. And then once the edges were chamfered, it was just a matter of hand sanding the entire thing. Now in the sanding, I started with 60 grit, then went to 100, I actually did 120, 150, and ended up with 220 grit. Now using a tapering jig on the table saw, I tapered the sides of the handle. Then I took the handle over to the router table and I rounded over all the edges. Of course, I did not round over the part of the handle that will go into the mallet. Now it's time for assembly. Putting a good amount of glue in the hole of the mallet head. I did cut some slits in the top of the handle to put some wedges in there. And then there again, using a good amount of glue on the wedges and then hammered them in. Then once the glue was dried, I just cut off the part of the handle that was sticking out 
and then using the belt sander, I sanded it flush. Now I did give everything a final sanding, and then I cleaned all the surfaces with some mineral spirits. And what I'm using for a finish is just some boiled linseed oil. And there she is, ready to smack some chisels. And that's the main reason why I built this mallet, is for chisels. I do think she came out quite nicely. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember, all you woodworkers out there, just get out there and cut some wood.